So ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot are two different AI type of tools that you can basically use. Now, between these two tools, there's a lot of different capability and a lot of stuff that you can basically do between these two types of AI tools. On one hand, you have ChatGPT, which basically gives you a lot of different, it's like industry standard, basically, for what you'd get for an AI tool. On the other hand, Microsoft Copilot is another AI type of productivity tool that you can basically use as well. So we'll go ahead and basically see what the differences are, what you can basically do between both, and which one is a better one for you. Now, here's the thing. With ChatGPT, this is a you know bread and butter AI tool that can help you with basically anything. There's a ton of capability behind ChatGPT. It allows you to run basically and ask it any question that you really wanted to ask for. With Microsoft Copilot at a high level, this tool basically is mainly used for Excel things, Power Automate, things that are already built in inside of the Microsoft suite of products. That is mostly what Copilot is, is, is made for. Now, there's also GitHub Copilot, some other options like that, but this is basically an AI tool specifically tailored for your, you know, Power, you know, Office 365 products. So it's really nice that it allows you to connect to things like Power BI and Excel and those things, but it's not always the best option. And what I mean by that is, with something like Copilot, yes, it does give you an answer and yes, it does kind of work, but it only works for specific things within Microsoft Excel products or Microsoft, you know, products in general. It doesn't let you go ask it like, hey, I want you to make a tool that can use this and this and build me this or, you know, what's the weather tomorrow? Copilot isn't necessarily made for that. ChatGPT, Chat GPT, on the other hand, is an all-in-one tool that you can ask it anything and it will give you responses back from anything. So that is something that's actually really, really big to kind of keep in mind here. With ChatGPT, right, you're able to go through and basically have it do anything you want it to do. You can upload files within it. You can have it as your own ecosystem and it learns you as you use it. What's interesting is with Copilot, it does actually end up using some open AI models. So it does actually give you some capability from that standpoint. So you do get GPT-4 access within Microsoft Copilot, which that in and of itself is a very cool thing. And it really does make your particular device stand out a lot from that particular perspective. On the other hand, with ChatGPT, because this one is mainly used for really anything, you can go ahead and use this whichever way you want to, which is something that that's actually really nice. But there is something to keep in mind here too. Within ChatGPT, there is a free version of that. So you're able to go, you go into chatgpt.com or whatever you go onto it with, and you're able to go through and use ChatGPT, and it's able to go ahead and be used completely for free. For Microsoft Copilot, it's built inside of Microsoft 365. So you have to pay for the Microsoft 365 version, and then there's like a Copilot add-on there. So there's like a couple of different steps you can basically throw in there to basically utilize it, which can be kind of an annoying thing depending on who you are. Personally for me, ChatGPT is a chatbot that you can ask it for anything, you can create code in it, you can chat with it, you can ask it random questions and it will work with. Copilot is basically a smart assistant that goes inside of Microsoft products. So what people recommend doing is to basically use both. What I would recommend doing is if you use a lot of Microsoft products, just go ahead and use Copilot since it's kind of the built-in one. And if you ask it to do something, it can build it something for you right in that Microsoft product. But if you are planning on extending that beyond Microsoft products and you're trying to go through and build out some cool things or use something else, you might have to go through and switch over to something like ChatGPT. So that's kind of the best way I can kind of put it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.